It's great to see you here, champ. On this one, we'll let you know about squares. Running a square pool is one of the easiest forms of gambling, especially when it comes to major events. It's usually not hard to recruit people to join your squares pool as people are always looking to buy a square. Not only is this a fun way to gamble on major sporting events, but it also can be a way for you to make some money, depending on how you set up your square. Buying a square is a term or phrase that has become commonplace when talking about sports, but you might not know what it means. This lesson will not only explain what a square pool is, but will also give you tips on how to set one up. You could be a hero among your friends if you run the squares pool. This is actually one of the pools that takes very little work, but it can lead to plenty of excitement. How do squares work? Before you even start to set up your squares pool, it's important to understand how this type of contest works. Even though this is a pretty simple contest and idea, you'll still need to know what you're getting yourself into. If you're going to set up a square, then you first need to know that you won't make any money unless you set it up that way. You can actually take a cut from the payouts that have been submitted, but most of the games won't work in that way. Squares are pretty straightforward, but you will be in charge of setting up the most important numbers. Before you set those numbers, all you will need to do is set up a board that has 10 by 10 and comes with 100 open squares. It's important to remember that you're in complete control of the square pool that you set up, but this is also a pretty standard contest. If you're going to want to alter the 10 by 10 setup, then that will change the contest entirely. Assuming you're going to use an NFL game, especially the Super Bowl, then you will be looking at a team that scores from the end of the each quarter. Squares always tend to focus on the score at the end of the period or game. Football is a popular option. Now that you know the background of how squares work, it's time to take a look at when this type of pool is the most useful. Most people associate squares with a Super Bowl, and that would be a great way to get started. Using the Super Bowl as a background for your square makes things pretty simple, as you can take the final score at the end of each quarter. Football is the most popular sport in the United States, and that will also give you the best chance to get people signed up. Take a look at the following example. Even though football, especially the Super Bowl, is the most common sporting event when it comes to squares, that is no longer the only option. You have probably noticed that the NCAA tournament has become a great option. The reason that the Super Bowl reigns supreme when it comes to square pools is the fact that all the action happens in one game. Squares for the NCAA tournament usually covers the entire tournament, and there is a winner at the conclusion of each game. NASCAR is another league that tends to get some attention for square pools, and those pools come in many different forms. It really doesn't matter what sport or event you choose, the basics of the squares pool is going to look more the same for all of them. Let people pick squares. Once you've established how you will set up your square, then it's time to recruit people who are going to participate. The 100 square board is the most common option, but again, you can customize this if you're using software such as Champ Sports Pools. There are a couple of different ways to go about filling up your square, but the best option is to allow people to choose what square they want to be placed in. Number of each square from 1 to 100 and allow your participants to choose their lucky number. If you're trying to do this by hand, then it can become a nightmare, but this is where online software makes this process much more manageable. The software will keep your full square up to date and all chosen squares will be blocked off so that they're not chosen again. Even though the chosen squares don't really mean anything in the long run, some people will stay away from this contest unless they have complete control. It can be impossible to try and keep track of all the squares that have been chosen on your own, and letting our people handle that mess is the best way to go. Who wins with squares? Squares have been around forever, but a large portion of the population has no idea how this type of pool works. You might not even have a clear understanding of how this works, but that is a must if you're going to set this type of pool. In order to provide the best example, using a square pool from the Super Bowl game is the best way to accomplish this. For example, we use the Kansas City Chiefs and the Los Angeles Rams, as that is the Super Bowl matchup that could happen over the next few seasons. There are going to be 100 squares available if you're doing a Super Bowl square, and you will have to designate a team to go on the left side of the square and a team to go on the top. This can be done in many different ways, but it is important that you communicate this information to everyone as soon as possible. When it comes to squares, you're going to look at the last digit for a team's score. For Super Bowl squares, you will look at that digit at the end of each quarter, and that includes the final score. If you have one set up for an entire NCAA tournament, then you will look at the last digit at the end of each game. Let's assume that the Kansas City Chiefs are at the top and the Los Angeles Rams are on the side. There are only 10 possible digits for each team based on what we know about the football, and that makes filling out each square pretty easy. If in the end the first quarter comes out 7-7 seven seven tie, then whatever person is in that position on the square board would be the winner. It would work the same way if the score at the end of the allotted time period is 10-3. to three. 
A software like Champ Sports Pools will track the action of whatever game or sporting event you choose. It will be clear to see what person has won previously, and the player that is set to win as long as there is no more scoring. Keeping track of winners. If you're setting up a square for the Super Bowl, then keeping track of winners won't be a huge deal. You're only going to have four different people win, and the chance is that you're watching the big game as well. Setting up squares on the board for the NCAA tournament will be a completely different story, as you could have more than 60 winners. Even if you're great with spreadsheets and tracking data, this is still going to be a nightmare to deal with. We recommend that you enlist the help of a pool software so it can take care of all of the hard work. As long as you have everything set up correctly in the system, the winners of each game will automatically going to be known. Another great feature is that everyone that joins your square can follow along with the action as well. You won't have to send out a ton of messages or reach out to the winners as they can check to see how many squares they have won throughout the event. One of the biggest reasons that people refrain from setting up a square is the fact that keep tracking of everything can get messy. It can also be time consuming. Dishing out prizes. When it comes to paying the winners, you're going to have to do that work on your own. Most square pools are run through the office setting and you're going to collect payments and make payouts yourself. We do have some tips when it comes to payouts. The number one overall tip that we like to mention is to pay the winners as soon as possible so that they are winning to join your pool the following year. If you're planning to keep a cut of the money as a reward for setting up the square, you will want to be sure you communicate that very early in the process. You should be rewarded for doing all the work, but just make sure everyone knows that it's taking place. Paying people in the office is obviously the easiest way to pay winners, but you should know that there are plenty of other options now available as well. Venmo and PayPal just continue to get more and more popular, and those are terrific ways to pay out winners of your square. This type of gambling is only going to continue to become more popular, and you need to take advantage of this opportunity now. Set up the best square pools for yourself and all of your buddies. That's it for this one. We hope you're ready to run your own square pool. If you have any questions, please write them down and we'll answer them soon.